Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. I hope you're having a great day, guys. I'm having an awesome day. Today is Tuesday, guys, and I am in the room designing you all. Listen, this is one of the weekender bags that my boss buddy, Driven Fortitude, gave to me at my surprise celebration, guys. And y'all already know I was too hyped to get started on this gift. So here I have the Weekender and I have just put a box on the inside. It's actually a box that was already wrapped that I had staged for a decoration um, event that I was doing. And I just used that same box and just stuck it in the bottom of the basket. And here you will see me with a Dollar General um, towel, not towel, blanket that I got during the, what was it, the red dot sale. So I paid 90% um, off and I think I paid like a dollar and 50 cent for that blanket if I'm not mistaken. The bedroom shoes cost only $1. It was part of the 90% off gift sets um, after Christmas, I believe it was, um, came from Dollar General as well. And here I am just taping one item to the other. And those of you that's been following me for a while know that I used a regular um, stationary tape to tape my items one to the other because I don't like for the tape to show. Um, but to be honest, this particular gift right here, I would have used a wide tape, but I'm all out, guys, because I've been selling, selling, selling. I've been selling a lot of gift baskets online, guys. Made my second sale on it. Today, y'all, I just started selling back on Etsy and I made two sales thus far. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of um, baskets going out on eBay. So I've used all of my tape and I didn't stop to buy any more. So I'm just using a regular narrow transparent tape for this. But like I said, I would have used the wide tape um, on this one if I had it. But we're just going in, taping the items one to the other, keeping it really, really simple what I'm doing. But this basket is going to be so awesome, so elegant, you guys. And I can go ahead and tell you um, my investment on this, which I did not buy the Weekender, of course, because I was blessed with it for free. Um, but I think most of you all paid $5 for it. So we're just going to say what most people would have spent. But then I'm going to tell you what I spent. OK, so five dollars. Um, one dollar for the perfume set, one dollar for the bedroom shoes, one fifty for the blanket, and about seventy cent for the sparkling cider. So we're gonna say one, two, three fifty, eight fifty, about nine dollars or so, not including the bag and the ribbon that I'm gonna be using, which the ribbon was free as well. So um, the average person would have probably spent maybe about 11 or $12 if you shop clearance shopping like I do and like I teach on this channel. Um, you would have spent about $12. By the time I'm finished wrapping this gift, guys, I'm going to charge about $90 for this gift, $85 to $90. And you will see why when I'm done, okay? We're not going to complete the full thing on this video, guys. I'm going to do a detailed bow making session on my next video and you do not want to miss it because this is a bow technique that i have not used in a long long time and if you're pretty much new to my channel or maybe if you're old you probably haven't seen this method of bow that i do so i told you guys i was going to be doing several different methods to see just which one you like the best which one is simplest to you because what's simple to you may be complicated to someone else and what's complicated to someone else may be simple to you so i want to do several different designs so that you guys can just kind of figure out which bay way works best for you and once you find out which way works best then i want you to go ahead and practice on the other ways as well because we do not want to be dysfunctional gift basket designers dysfunction meaning only having certain ways to do stuff we want to be versatile in our gift we want to know how to wrap with all kinds of wrap we want to know how to make bows all different kinds of ways okay so anyway honey i am just wrapping um putting all of this stuff here and as you will see if you notice i'm doing so much talking but if you notice i put some hot glue on this bottle because the bottle is so heavy and i'm not using shrink wrap for this particular basket unless i so happen to sell it online and if i sell it online then i will be using the method that i've been using the last few days 
um, with items that I shipped that was already wrapped in cellophane. We're just going to wrap the top part with shrink wrap if that should happen, okay? But I'm going to put this pretty mama out for Easter and see if we could get it sold for Easter. So I'm just going around taping the items after I have um, glued the bottle down. And like I said, once again, if I had the water tape, this would have been the basket that I use it on. But I still do not like for the tape to be shown. So I tape it downward onto the box or, um, you know, if I tape it to the other items, I tape it to the side or around the back so that it's not obvious, okay? And um, then we're just going ahead with the design of this basket. And I'm done talking, you guys. Just f um, finished watching me design it. And we will be coming back with the part two of this video to show you the amazing conclusion of this basket, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to put it on my vending table and see how fast it flies off, okay? If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share the video, guys, and do leave me a comment below, okay? I really do appreciate it, guys. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye-bye.